Hello everyone, welcome to my channel NCRT Mathematics Learning Hub. In this video, we will be solving a very important type of question that you may expect in your exam. And at the end, we will be solving a question that I have taken from the previous year paper. So, do not miss any part of the video and please do watch the complete video. So, here in this question, they are asking you to complete the table. So, this is the continuation of the question example 13 so let me just show you that question so this question they are talking about so you can observe here two dice one blue and one gray are thrown at the same time so there are two dice that have been thrown and write the uh, they are asking you to write down all the possible outcomes and they are asking you to find the probability that the sum of the two numbers appearing on the top face of the die is 8, 13 and um, equal to 12. Okay. So, two dice have been thrown. The, till now, whatever we have considered, it was about one die. Now, there are two dice and it has been uh, thrown at once. Now, they are asking you to write the all the possible outcomes so that is the most important thing that we need to write so let me just write here sample space sample space is nothing but what are the outcomes that you can have is equals to let me write in a bracket so maybe when i thrown the uh, when i we have thrown the die so maybe for the first time on the first die one has come and on the second die also one has come. Then I am considering for the first die one has come for the second die two has come. Then one comma three for the first die one and for the second die three. Then for the first die one for the second die four. Then uh, for, for the first die one. For the second die 5 for the first die 1 for the second die 6 like that i need to keep on writing for all the possible outcomes that you can have when you are rolling two die okay so these are all the outcomes that you can have when you are throwing a die we're throwing two dice at the same time okay so these are all the outcomes that you can have now they are asking you to find the probability when you will add the sum on both the die, you should get 2. So, they have given you one example, uh, actually 3 examples you can see for 2, 8 and 12 they have done it and remaining thing you need to do it. Okay, so probability of getting sum 3. Okay, so total number of uh, like uh, 3, how many are there? And n of s, what is the value of n of s you can have? n of s, you can just count this and write. So, total number or you can take it as, as n of s directly. 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, everything you will add. So, just check if it is 36 or not. Whenever only one die is thrown, it will be 6. Whenever there, there are talking about two die, then obviously it will be 36. So, it is nothing but you need to search the all the possible outcomes wherever you have the sum 3. So, 1 plus 1 it is 2. So, no this one is uh, not suitable. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, this is one uh, option. Then 4, 5 all these are not possible. Coming back to the second row. So, this is the again uh, second option that you can have. 2 plus 1 is also 3. So, only these two, if you will do, you are going to get the answer 3. Some should be 3. Okay. So, how many are there? Number of 3 you can have. It is 2. Only one option and second option divided by 36. So, 1 by how much? 2 ones are 2. It's a. So, 1 by 18 is the answer for the, for what? For getting the sum. For getting the sum 3 so in the same way let us uh, find for getting the sum 4 okay so to get the sum 4 you need to just check how many numbers uh, how many options that you can have to get the sum 4 
this is not possible this is not this is the correct option that you can have 3 plus 1 is 4 so 1 then 2 1 2 let me just write it some somewhat different so that I cannot get confused with this and this so 1 2 then do you have any other option yes this one 3 right so is there any other option that I am missing no right so actually uh, 3 by 36 so let me just erase this uh, before I am proceeding with the next part so 3 by 36 is the answer so 3 ones are 3 ones are and 3 twos are so 1 by 12 is the answer right in the same way do it for probability of getting 5 you need to search the <coughs> places wherever you are getting the sum 5 so this one 1 then this 1 2 3 and 4 right so what are you going to have then you have four options of getting the sum okay you have four options to get the sum 5 so 4 divided by 36 is the answer so you can observe uh, 2 2 is a 4 and 2 18 is a then 2 1 is a 2 9 is a 1 by 9 is the answer then p of 6 i need to get the 6 sum as 6 <clears throat> so here this is the one option then this 1 2 3 4 5 right uh, do i have any other option no i don't have so 1 2 3 4 5 so a total of uh, like uh, outcomes that there you have the total as 6 is how much 5 right so 5 divided by 36 so you cannot uh, reduce it further so keep it as it is now probability of getting the sum 7 so how many numbers are there like that 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 do i have any other option mm, no right so how much you have 6 so 6 by 36 so you can observe that it is following some pattern 2 by 36 3 by 36 4 by 36 5 by 36 and 6 by 36 then now probability of getting 8 is given probability of getting uh, sum as 9 we need to find out so what are the uh, options that you can have in here to get the answer 9 uh, this is not possible then this is also not possible 3 plus 6 is 9 right then 5 plus 4 is 9 then 5 plus 4 is 9 6 plus 3 is 9 so these are the four options there you can have uh, sum as 9 right so let me write 4 divided by 36 then you can observe uh, 10 is also not given so let us find out so uh, you need to get the sum as 10 how many options are there like that 4 plus 6 10 5 plus 5 10 4 6 plus 4 10 so there are three options right so 3 divided by 36 then you have uh, for 11 also probability of getting the sum 11 so what are you having that kind of option you, in this 5 plus 6 is 11 6 plus 5 is 11 so you have the option uh, Two option 2 by 36 is the answer right so uh, let me use any other color and write it here for this you got 2 by 36 for this 3 by 36 4 by 36 5 by 36 6 by 36 so this is the maximum you can have you cannot have 7 by 6 then again it has been reducing for 9 how much you got 4 by 36 so it is symmetrical you can observe here right this is the maximum from 1 to 6 then 6 to 1 again 3 by 36 2 by 36 
right so this is uh, all the answers that you have got it now they have asked you uh, the part or uh, two of this question in this they have asked you a student argues that there are 11 possible outcomes 2 3 4 uh, from 2 to 12 therefore each of them has the probability 1 by 11 do you agree with this statement no absolutely no because there are possible there are 11 outcomes from 2 to 12 that is true because you cannot have the sum as 1 because at least one should occur on both the die right so obviously the sum will start from 2 and ended at 12 so this is true first part of the statement is true but he is saying that the probability of all these events is 1 I mean uh, 1 by 11 so this is not true because you can observe here the probability of every sum you are getting different different answer so uh, let me write here no he is not correct because for every sum The probability is different is different therefore it is not equally likely right So this is how you will solve the problems whenever you have two dice thrown at once or uh, there are two dice uh, or one die is thrown twice something like that if they are given and if they are asking you to find the sum as this one and uh, if you they are asking you to find the multiple then in the same way you need to write the outcomes and then you can start solving the problem okay so this is also uh, the question that you may expect when the, the, they have asked you uh, the question related to uh, a coin is thrown three times or three coins are thrown at once something like that then you need to uh, understand how to write the uh, like total number of outcomes and uh, the favorable outcomes and all right so a game consists of tossing one rupee coin three times so one rupee coin has been tossed for three times okay um, and noting its outcome each time whatever the outcome has come for every time they are noting it down somewhere okay so Hanif wins if all the three tosses give the same result so Hanif is going to win the uh, uh, game if all the three outcomes will be same so it may be either all the three head or all the three tail three heads or three tail and loses otherwise otherwise for any other option he is going to lose the game calculate the probability that Hanif will lose the game so we need to first write all the sample space or the number of outcomes and we can say So what are the possible values you can have like how we did for uh, the die thing same thing we need to uh, consider for this so maybe first time head second time head third time also head okay so this is the first outcome you can have then first two time head third time tail then maybe HTH -H or TTH uh, okay then you can have like uh, HTT also right HTT then T oh uh, sorry TTT -T -T. then what else you can have what I am missing HTT THH -H. That I have not written right so th -h, this is also a possible outcome then what you can have tht have you written no that is also missing so th -t. 
so these are the possible outcomes that you can have when the coin has tossed thrice or the uh, three coins have tossed at once so now let us find the probability that hanif is losing uh, is going to lose the match so probability of losing the match is equals to n of losing the match divided by total number of outcomes right so how many times we can uh, say that hanif uh, what is the chance that hanif is going to lose the match only in this condition and this condition he is going to win remaining all if any one of this condition occur he is going to lose so 1 2 3 4 5 6 six condition are there and there are totally how many conditions it is eight conditions so let us substitute 6 by 8 2 3 za 2 4 za so it is nothing but 3 by 4 so this is the probability uh, of hanif to lose the game so this is the question that i have taken from 2019 paper okay so here they have asked you uh, the cubical die numbered from 1 to 6 is rolled twice and one die has been uh, rolled twice okay so find the probability of getting the sum of the numbers uh, on its face as 10 so this question this same kind of question i have just discussed uh, uh, now so you don't find it difficult in solving this so we because there we have solved the to get the sum of like two three four five so many we have solved so we need, need to just find the sum as 10 find the probability of getting the sum as 10 the same the sample space i have just uh, copied and pasted here for this because uh, it will be again time consuming for me to write but at once though you need to write it okay so let us write the probability how many times you will be getting the sum as um so what are the numbers where you will be getting sum as 10 4 6 4 plus 6 10 5 plus 5 10 6 plus 4 10 so only these are the three outcomes where you will get the sum 10 so write the formula p of getting the sum 10 is equals to n of 10 how many times you are getting 10 divided by total number of outcomes so obviously it is the about the two dice so n of s will be always 36 and here 3 times you are getting the sum uh, as 10 so 3 divided by 36 which is equals to 1 by 1 by 3 ones are 3 twos are so 1 by 12 is the answer so that's it for now in the next video we will be starting a new chapter so please don't miss that video and please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon